Uh, for 30 years, I didn't speak with Vince McMahon. I'm still not speaking with him. And, and, and you know, so, so they're very strong here in Quebec. So, 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 so that causes a little bit of conflicts and, and, and so all that. So, so I'm more now AEW, of course, because working with QT Marshall right. and stuff like that. So, so, so you have Pepsi and Coke in the same place. So, so the ones that want Pepsi to beat Coke, they're going to work hard for that. And, uh, and, and I respect them all. You know, I, I do. I respect everybody who tries to make a living out of this, but I feel like I'm not stealing anything from anybody. I, I, I'm in my backyard here. I wrestled for 45 years professionally. So, you know, I, I think this is my place. And, and then I think this year again, you know, it's amazing that I, I can't, I can't stop thinking about, you know, if I was a young pup there and I, and I was starting into business, you know, uh, you know, there's, there's one thing guys you have to understand. I remember when I was real young, my, my dad told me <clears throat> there's two criteria to become a, a great wrestler and to make it in this business. First, you got to be at the right place at the right time. And then you got to know the right people. And you know, and, and this deal here, I can't get American papers for my, my people in Canada. That's the biggest problem that the Canadian wrestlers have. They can't get working visas. But I could get them now three months at the Nightmare Factory to be seen by QT Marshall, Billy Gunn in AEW, and Cody Rhodes in WWE. So if they see something they like, if they see something extraordinary out of one of the talents in Canada, then they could go ahead and try to get their papers or do what they have to do. I just got want to put them a, a foot in the door there. And, and that's what I'm doing now. And that's so amazing for me. If, I never had a chance like that when I was young. It was different with small territories. So, so I think this is the greatest opportunity right now on the planet for the Canadian wrestlers. And, and I'm proud to be... Uh, putting this together Jacques Rougeau's wrestling academy with my girlfriend who's the who's my my, my rock and all this and uh, so it's it's just amazing it's I'm, I'm reliving again my passion like I was 15 years old again and I'm 63. You, you could see it in your face man you could see it in your face real quick question you 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 mentioned McMahon what was the fallout between you and uh Mr. McMahon? I think you know there's a as I'm growing older, I think there's a little bit of both here that's in, in fault. I I think one thing Vince never understood is uh, us being on the road 25 days a month in a row and not seeing our families and and and, 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 and wanting to make it to the top, wanting to get the belts, wanting to get the uh, merchant value that you have as a character. And everybody's fighting for that top spot. And we're all waiting in line to get the belts because I thought that was one of the best ways to and, – and, 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 and after being there for like, you know, four years with my brother Raymond and never getting the tag belts, which we, we deserved. And we had it one night in Montreal, but they took it away by video the next day. And they never yeah. acknowledged it at the WWF. Boom. And, then, and, and, yeah. and, and, then, and, and, and then working at the end, becoming the Intercontinental title for two days. Hey, it's not bad, two days. <laughs> you know, it's okay. I, I, I still think it was awesome because when people come to Comic-Cons, they see they always have a doll with me with a belt around the Intercontinental belt. I, I look at that and I said, man, I'm the shortest lived Intercontinental title uh, holder. But anyway, that's fun. But then, but then as the years progress, I came back as a Quebecers with Carl. You know, you want to and, – and, and we were lucky. We took the belts right off the bat off the Steiners the first night in Manhattan at uh, Monday Night Raw uh, as we came in as a team. But you become more – you want more faster. I paid my dues. And, and you want to have a top spot. You, you want to stay in the top spot. And, uh, and, and then there, there was a time there like, like for, for so many months, Carl and I, we were uh, – we were we were getting beat night after night by middle teams, by underdog teams, and and then, but they kept telling us and they kept telling me, don't worry, Jacques, because at WrestleMania 10, you guys are against the moms, men on a mission, mm. and you guys are going to beat them right in the middle, and, and you're going to get all your credibility back. And we were going to Toronto, going to Montreal, and getting pinned in our own towns, like you know, getting beat. But they kept telling us, Pat Patterson kept telling us, don't worry, Jacques, you're going to get all your credibility back at WrestleMania 10. And, 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 and when we got there, I, I, I think that the fact that they had us hanging on there because we were working so hard and, and we were waiting for that moment. And then when we got there, then a couple hours before the show, Pat came to see me and told me, like, hey, uh, listen, Jacques, uh, Vince was thinking there that, you know, if we beat the moms tonight, uh, what are they going to do? You know, what are they going to do with them? And I looked at Pat and I said, well, I don't give a shit. You know, I said, yeah. I said yeah. for five months, you've been telling us that this is our night and this is where we're building, getting all our credibility back. And, and now you want to change it? 
like you know and, and that was such an insult and i never had a, I, I never knew how to dealt to deal with that yeah that was my fault i i was immature probably and so so i had this this grudge inside of me like you know i felt like i was used and i felt and, and all the good things that we that he did for me because he did plenty of good things for me they they seemed to all disappear because it was a hard time those times and 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 uh so so after that then i just got my retirement match and did a, finished my bookings with him and and, and and i finished off and and we went i went to wcw and then came back one time and it but it never came back even when he came back for that short period of time it it was Jim Ross that was there, and he, Vince was barely talking, and, and he was probably upset that I went to WCW, and that's okay. But I was upset at him; he was upset at me, and and things go on. I, I, I think this is a it's a cruel world, the business. It, but it just uh, I don't think that Vince will ever understand uh, how it is to be on the road 25 days a month with the boys that are are sometimes a little uh, loud and obnoxious and 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 different and in their own characters and their own gears and their and in their own state of mind and, and trying to stay calm like you know because you see them at the airport all day you see them in the gym you see them at the hotel you see them at the restaurant you see them in the arena you're married to these guys you know day after day so it becomes hard and and and, and then when so so i lost a little bit of probably a little uh, self-control myself too a lot of patience and stuff like that i think it's a mix of everything together you know if i had to start over some things you know maybe i Maybe I would, you know, who knows uh, how it is. I'm, I'm a little bit more mature today, but, uh, but, but that's what happened really. For me, that was the falling out. And, and uh, so, 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 you know, I, I, I honestly think also, I honestly think uh, that uh, if you're, if I'm being honest with you, you know, after spending like uh, from, from 80, 85 that I signed with them all the way to, to, the 90, 94 or 95, I spent 10 years there approximately in WWF, WWE. And, uh, and I think that everything that I've accomplished with my brother Raymond, uh, with Carl, and, and just me as a Mountie, taking the jailhouse match and everything that, that we did, uh, I, I think that, that, that the Rougeau name deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. 